Thank you, Emily. Since it is camp week, we have decided to pay a little attention to the more glamorous side of roughing it. We're here with Aaron Rady from KCU there, and uh, we're going to talk about glamping. Now, for our viewers out there that might not know what glamping is, what is glamping all about? Glamping is glamorous camping, simply. It's kind of bringing your luxuries from home into the wilderness, if you will. Um, basically, having a large tent which you can walk into, no roughing it on the ground, bringing your own um, blankets and pillows, and basically bringing all the comforts of homes uh, to your campsite. Now, you were just telling me uh, about a celebrity who yes. just posted that they want to go glamping. Who was that? Yes, yeah, so it was Justin Bieber. Apparently wants to go glamping, <laughs> so we'll see if he follows through with that. Now, for the people out there that, that want to go glamping, right, how, how do you get that started? Basically, um, you just kind of want to get everything together that you would want at a hotel. <laughs> Basically, your bedding, um, you can get portable showers, bringing, you know, luxury body, bath and body products. And uh, now, one of the best things about camping, I have to say, is the s'mores. So you yes. found a way to take the traditional s'more and make it a little bit more glamorous. Yeah, what we have here today is a s'mores bar. Um, it's been very popular for events, especially more of the rustic weddings. Um, basically, you can kind of have everything you would want in a s'mores. Um, you have your Hershey bars, graham crackers, you can add fruit, marshmallows, and you can even get a little more fancy if you want to add whatever you'd like as far as chocolate graham crackers. You could add the Ghirardelli or filled chocolate bars if you'd like to. Now, if you want to completely take all of the work out of, mm -hmm. out of s'mores, what, uh, what do we have going on right here? These are um, kind of like a s'mores pop, if you will. Basically, you're going to melt a little chocolate. Um, I used, just used a double boiler. I just used two frying pans. I actually melted the chocolate. I can get either, I used some sticks from the wilderness, or you can use <laughs> kind of like the shish kebab sticks here. And you're just going to roll the marshmallow in the chocolate and then kind of add whatever toppings you want. I used some sprinkles. You can use coconut, peanuts. Feel free to get creative with it. Now, you did mention the rustic wedding. And what yeah. I thought was really cool was this little mason jar. Mm -hmm. Now, would this be a good way to sort of use this like a table setting? Yeah, you can use it as a table setting. You could use them as, you know, little take-home um, thank you gifts. But basically, you know, you can customize them um, and have everything you need for a s'mores. Um, especially with the rustic weddings you've been seeing too, you can actually get um, a flame bar going to um, kind of the little propane, and you can actually roast them right there. But I don't know if that'd be uh, safe here in the studio. <laughs> now, we do have a lot of little decorations mm -hmm. going on. Um, now, tell us a little bit about how you could go about decorating for an outdoor theme party or a rustic wedding. Yeah, well, what I have here is our table runner is burlap, which is really popular. Um, it's very popular with rustic weddings because it is eco friendly and it actually will. Um, break down naturally in nature. Um, you can get this at any kind of like a Home Depot, home store, um, and it is used a lot for gardening, so you can find it at any gardening supply store too. But yeah, it's a great way to kind of add a natural touch to your event, and you can also, you know, tie the ends with a little twine. Or And you can, you know, just bring nature right in. These yes. logs are excellent. Yeah, like, exactly. I know. It's just a great way really to add depth to the table is to add risers and different levels. It makes it more visually appealing. And you might get to use a cool chainsaw, but exactly, that's completely yeah. besides the point. All right, well, thank you so much, Erin. Oh, right thank you. now we're going to head over to our Kitchen World Kitchen where we're working on some scallops and cream corn.